thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Bring that over here. Bring that over here. Bring my processor window over to here so I can keep an eye on this bullshit. Because <laughs> if it gets too high, I'll have to kill the uh, video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the secondary feed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Velocity. I've played a bit of the first one, not all the way through. Technically, it's the second one. Uh, Ultra? Yeah, technically it is. Oh, it is. This is originally a PlayStation Mini. Just Velocity. And Ultra is a remake with some new things in it. What is a PlayStation Mini? What is that? That was kind of like indie games for the PSP and the PS3 before there were before there were indie games. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, it's been on the Velocity's been around since the PSP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that. I didn't know Ultra was like a full, full remake thing. It is. Yeah, it's cool, though. It's I a rad say. game. Some of the uh, the, the mechanics, like they just they take a while to introduce them, and that's one thing I kind of wish they would have maybe sped that up a little bit, but they do a good job, I think, with the pacing. It's I think that... It's not overwhelming. Well, they, they do a thing where... Uh, by the way, everyone watching, we're just kind of going to converse for a bit before I jump into Velocity. Um, what I think they do really good in that game is is that they introduce, even though they introduce things a little slowly, it's so that you get used to them and you get better at them before they start throwing in the curveballs. Mm -hmm. Especially the latter half of the game gets rough. Yeah, and I managed to mess up a bunch of stuff at one point, so. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> mostly telepods. <laughs> telepods are hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what they actually do? That's there's a good and a bad thing on the uh, on two uh, X, which is um, on the no. I don't want to make a no. Just bring me make a guest account so I can start from the beginning and have cutscenes. Um, and the problem that it has actually is that um, with a uh, two X, no, is that there's a little delay when you place them, so they, it travels with you for a second. Mm. But they added an amazing thing where you can delete them from the map screen. That was the other thing, too. I always defaulted to the wrong uh, pod mm. when, whenever I was playing. I kind of wish they would have just made it like it defaulted to the last one you laid down. Yeah. Yeah. That was like one small change that I... I mean, it was more on me for being an idiot, but, you know. Yeah, well, it's one of those... This is one of those games you just have to get used to, is the problem with a game like this. And mm -hmm. uh, my, my biggest hurdle was as I actually platted it on the Vita, and it has a touch to teleport, which makes some levels immeasurably easier. So you can just, like... I had, like, this claw thing going with, like, my ring finger holding down the R1 button, just tapping the screen all over the place. Oh, is there a touchscreen on the... I could... On the Vita, yeah. The okay. entire screen is a touchscreen. So you've got a back touch screen. Yeah, I knew it had the back touch thing. I didn't know the front was also... T I don't know anything about the Vita. No. I, I love my Vita. I'm behind on portable systems real far. So, before we get started, I wanted to give a big old thanks to uh, Future Lab for giving me this game a fucking month early. Oh, and the embargo's finally over? Yeah, it went away today at 1 o'clock Eastern. So, um, awesomeness. Yes, I understand that I'm not signed in. They <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm doing this for reasons. <laughs> and the reasons are, is be reasons are, good words, is because of the fact that, like, um, Ultra, you level up your ship and you get more abilities. Which will make the easy the earlier levels easier. So you want to start from scratch, or else it'll. Correct. Like you don't even yeah. start with bombs in this game. Oh and, wow! So yeah, I think it takes to like level seven or ten till you get bombs. Hmm. But uh, yeah, also I want to give them a special shout out. They did uh, since this game is currently free on PlayStation with PS Plus. Day one free. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they put out DLC for the game. Which is all critical urgency missions. Oh man, that's okay. Those were my favorite. And and uh, did you see that trailer they put out? Uh, yeah, I think you. Uh, sent I tweeted it, it just going like, "Erg!" Yeah, <laughs> because it is amazing. I haven't bought it yet, but it's like three bucks for like six critical urgency missions. 
Yeah, and I can't really, like, you know, blame them for putting out DLC if they're given the whole damn game for free, day one. Yup. Which is completely baffling. Oh yeah, apparently Sony is that confident in this game. So, a few things that are a little bit different. One, uh, the menu screen, the flight computer's a little bit better. There's no Minesweeper now. Calculator still exists, though. <laughs> Works a little better now. But uh, the other thing that they do is that there's a nice little progression system on here, so you can tell how you're doing in a level, which is really rad. Okay. And there's more of a story. Which we're going to see right now. Plus the awesome art continues. I love the hand-drawn art for the cutscenes. Or maybe that's just me. I don't mind. It's not my particular brand of art style, but they do it well. What oh, they're they do. doing, yeah. Also, for those that don't know, the, the music in the background is done by the guy, like one of the Sony stalwarts. He did the score for the Killzone series. Really? Yeah. So this takes place after the end of the first game where uh, she flies into a black hole. Now she wakes up covered with uh, a bunch of things. Slow Tuesday, got it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> this looks very familiar. Yeah, yeah. It... Is this a remake of the first level of Ultra? <laughs> Yeah, it, it kind of is. They do that because... Uh, oop, there we go. They do that because this is supposed to be... Um, a, like, you're, you're asked to remember what's the last thing that you did. So that's one of the reasons why they do this. And it's also a decent tutorial and uh, stuff like that. Ooh, well, that er, well, that happened. So <laughs> I, got, I got screened, but this also introduces a really rad thing where if you tap both of the R1 buttons, you can just restart the level. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, yep. That's sold. a good. That's a good quality yeah. of life. Oh man, yeah, because that's ooh, the number of times I restarted a few levels just because I couldn't get you know the gold all stripes all experience. Also, you're gonna notice that that screen is now animated and it's kind of rad. So let's do that again, and this time not getting auto, this not getting scrolled because I don't know why I'm doing much harder levels than this. Um, so I'm guessing you've already done a stream of the first velocity a whole bunch. I did. Um, well, I'm also putting out videos. Yeah. Uh, for uh, um, it. So, I mean, just for people who just showed up for the stream, tink, tink, tink. Uh, I don't even want to go through some of the kind of more unique mechanics. I know the one that blew me away at first, and still I've wasn't using was the fact that you can run into a wall without dying that's really cool and now there's a little bit of animation where it sparks when you do that um but yeah running into a wall like you can glide across it that's super useful for the urgency missions because they'll help you they'll guide you a little better um i yeah. use that a lot but yeah so we're going to be slowly introduced to the concepts of this game very slowly <laughs> They do that just so the people who've never played it, because I would imagine there's probably going to be a few people who never played Ultra who play this game because this is free. Mm -hmm. um, and Ultra has been on a couple Steam sales. It I has. For sure, and it's been in some bundles. So if you don't have a Vita, but you have a PC, keep an eye out for that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if, you, if you find it for like two bucks, it's absolutely no questions. It's worth it. I thought it was completely worth it when I paid full price for it on my Vita, which was like seven bucks. It's a great yeah, game. Full price is seven bucks. Yes, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. This game is actually twenty, by the way. Oh. Because this game has a lot more meat to it. I mean, the levels are a lot longer. Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> you can kind of see they're already kind of not fucking around that much. Yeah, they they've definitely stepped it up a bit. The. Uh... Yeah, that teleport mechanic takes a little while to get used to too. So, are you? Well, yeah, you're. What? Uh, you're playing this on PS4. PS4. Okay. Oops, I got. There we go. Is the cursor speed about the same for the teleport? Uh, it's a little faster. A little faster. Good. Good. That was one thing I did want them to Cause, do. Because you can see how fast I'm teleporting. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah, they did ramp up the speed for that. 
These early levels are a little difficult to get perfect on for one reason, and that's because your guns aren't upgraded and you don't have bombs to clear the glass quicker. Just, I just want to mention that. That's why I'm dying a few times, because I'm not clearing things fast enough. Okay. Oops, I did not mean to hit replay. I forget what the touchpad does on this. Also, right now, for those of you who care, the light bar is currently red on my controller. Oh, does it do the whole color changey thing? Uh, I think once you're out of the flashback levels, it changes. Oh, okay. Uh, no, Sierra, these are um, just cryostasis people, is what they are. There's mm -hmm. a story in the first game, I can't remember what it is. Story. Yeah, the only story I remember is a bunch of bad guys shoot their ass, uh, pick up people, and also bonus junk, if you happen to find it. <laughs> the way it is, in, if I remember correctly, was an EMP has gone off, and uh, those are all, like, cryopods that were ejected into space to be picked up. Mm. If memory, memory serves. There's a different story in this game why there's more of these pods. <laughs> it's fun I can actually hear the delay because yeah. I, I'm hearing the game audio so mm -hmm. I'm like it, it took me until I heard the first pickups happening yeah the uh, shit the Skype delay really isn't bad at all and Twitch seems to be oh, come on. not too bad also they got rid of the lives in this game too oh okay really yeah. me Come on now. That's not too bad. I mean, they were kind of unnecessary, it seemed like, because to get the best rank, you need to do it all in one shot anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, once we get out of these flashback levels, I'll be perfecting. But don't you like that little animation it does for the what you've done? It's kind of neat. Yeah, and there is only one part of the scoring system I never understood. Mm-hmm. And it's the actual score. Oh, the, the the points? Yeah, I never got how to do a better you, good You need job. to destroy all the glass. Oh, okay. Each so of those little pod things gives you XP. You need to get kills, those things. If you miss a rescue, that loot that takes away your XP. So mm -hmm. points usually don't factor in until you have gotten everything else. Okay, because, yeah, I mean, my major concern was always I wasn't sure if using bombs lowered it compared to shooting things individually. Oh, there's another thing that affects it. If you hmm. kill things off screen, sometimes you don't get points for it. So you have to be careful about that. Really? Yeah. That's weird. It is weird. It, it actually butts its head a lot more often in this game. Oh, so they kept that in? They kept that in, so you have to be a little more careful. Usually, if it's a little bit off screen, it's okay, but if you're killing things like two screens away, like if you're just like, oh, it's a massive enemies, hucking bombs, just tossing bombs at everything, you, you'll get a lot less XP for it. Kind of keeps you from going too willy nilly. Mm hmm. But I love going willy nilly. Yes. By the way, now Kai's awake, so we're now in the actual game. So that was just the refresher. We've already, we're already done with the refresher. And uh, she's now full of cybernetics and crap. Here we go. Ugh. I believe this is a really neat level because this is the side-scrolling level. Yeah. Did they even have these ever? In... Nope. I didn't think so. I was going to say I'm not quite to the end, but... So this is new. This is all new. This has its entire own wrinkle. Wee. And as always with these kind of games, the uh, red stuff is bad. Okay, I am liking the speed of this. I was a little concerned when I saw side-scrolling, but this is got to go fast. And that's live and die by the go fast when you're playing Velocity. I mean, come on. Yeah, there, velocity. There, <laughs> there's, as there are in the original game, there are some uh, levels you need to take it a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. Like the search levels and whatnot. Yeah, but there are, whoops, critical urgency um, side-scrolling levels. Which are, well, the side-scrolling isn't its own level. 
it's part of each level and the boss fights. Because that was boss fights. fights. You say. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. One thing I really wish they would have changed is that I wish there was a countdown timer, not a count up timer. I mean, no, no, a count up timer, not a countdown timer. It's like, oh, you've got 20 minutes to do this level. It's like, no, no, I want to know how much time I have. You, you, you completed stage four, I say. Oh, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Nice. And we're about to be introduced to the next side-scrolling mechanic, the first new mechanic in the game. Oh, I can't wait. It says it right in the title. Is it Teledash? It is Teledash! Oh my god! You don't say. Yes. <laughs> Sorry I was late. I, uh, I had I had some non- I had some nerd shit to deal, take care of, but... Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to other nerd shit! Nice! We are dealing with this, the story of the game right now. Ooh. Oh, oh, Kaitana. Alright, I get it. Yeah. Cool. And now we get to teleport through things. Uh, this tele The teleportation of the side-scrolling is a tad bit different, because it's got a very limited range. Oop. Okay, okay. So, like, for instance, I'll stop here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can only go this far. Teleportation, so... Uh, I see. Mm-hmm. Ah. You can also teleport in any uh, any of the four main directions. You can also teleport while jumping. Okay, Gravy, so teleporting is probably key to super go fast. Yes, it is. Oh, As you can see. <laughs> oh. Um. Video is unavailable. <laughs> I saw that, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was that. working... Let me see if I can just hit it, see what it does. You know, that's a stop. Don't talk about too many technical problems because I'm about to host you. So. Oh shit! <laughs> with my with my uh, standard deaf stream of standard deaf. <laughs> that's fine. Don't don't worry about that. <laughs> we're not. We're. Uh, I'm 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 your casual friend. I don't care about standard and high deaf shit. <laughs> I do. You're streaming casual. <laughs> <laughs> I put more streaming time than both of you combined. <laughs> oh man! Oh, firepower! Do we? We do, we do get stuff. I'm just looking at my processor because right now it's saying 97 percent. So give me one second here. <laughs> oh, we're okay. If Yay. you hear fire, let us know. Chat, <laughs> just make mention. <laughs> So the the first thing that they introduce in this game, which is a nice um, way that they change up the shooting in the game, is that uh -huh. the shooting is full 360 with the right analog stick, because you're going to be able to shoot through her hand. Yeah, her arm is a gun, as it now says. Um, and But you can't run and do that. So you have to learn when to do the two of those. I see. That's the whole learning of the levels in this game works out pretty well. Hmm. So is this hmm. game keep up the whole levels are pretty damn short and pretty damn fast, but... There's some that are a lot longer later on in the game, and uh, you have to move through them pretty fast, but they can, they get much longer, especially since they have the traditional top-down and the side-scrolling inside of them at the same time. Oh, goodness. <laughs> there we are. Host... What is your name again? Axel House. A-X-N-O-L-L-O-U-S-E. Thanks. No problem. I, I, I still didn't get that, so I'm just going to copy paste it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oops, I missed one. There we go. Done. Oops. So you had to shoot all that glass to get all the points, even in yeah. the side scrolling? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm now having the issue where every now and then you'll see me just run into glass, and that's because I'm hitting a different button for a different gun that I don't have yet. Ah, uh, okay. You're yeah, because you've played through all this. I'm presuming. Since no, it... I'm at level thirty right now. Oh, just because you know I've had other things I've had to do, unfortunately. <laughs> Adults. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I was I was late to this chat doing adult things, so meaning pornography. No, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Flex. 
<laughs> I was seeing Lieutenant Kaitana, but in a different, in a much more fan servicey context. A much more deviant art context, you could say. And <laughs> perfect. Perfect. That was perfect. See? I, I see it. Oh man, that badge has gem rolls. Do the side scrolling parts give you the pink gem rolls now? Yes, they do. The and now the first level where we do both. Oh, good gravy. See how they're much faster with introducing things? Yeah, I do like that a lot. Because like I said, there were a couple times where I was like, all right, I get it. I did the fast mission with bombs. I did the I did the search mission with the like, oh, on now. But yeah, it seems like they're ramping up faster. But it also seems like they have more mechanics to introduce. They do. Uh, there is a lot more mechanics for the uh, ship, which is the Corp Jet, as it's called, and more for Kai herself and the side-scrolling stuff. So they actually do ramp it up, and then, of course, each of those get upgrades, etc., etc. So, Slowbeep, have you ever played uh, any of the Velocities? No, I, is that what we're playing now? This is Velocity 2X? Yeah, it is. No, I've never, I've never uh, played these games, actually. This game came out today. Wow. So, um, this is a PS4 game also? This is a PS4 and Vita game with cross-buy, and if you have a PlayStation Plus account, this is free for the month of September. Well, all right, let's just, like, stop advertising Sony for a second. No, well, um, I'll say, to be fair, the company did give me this game for free a month ago. Oh, well, in that case, let's keep advertising. Exactly. Yeah. Future Lab is awesome. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you were saying at first over my Walkman. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over how amazing my Sony Vita currently is. <laughs> Whoops, oh, I almost, I almost tripped over my PlayStation 3, and I wouldn't want to do that to such a quality si yet outdated system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, my uh, PlayStation Move or whatever, my iToy for PS2. Mm -hmm. Let me turn that on for screen sharing. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. The game came out today and you're already perfecting it? Yeah. Okay, well, you must be really good then. No. Mm. I just know how to beat my head against the wall level long enough to learn it. I see, gotcha. Well, alright, so tell me, tell me what we're going to be looking at in Stage 8, an effective team. And in an effective team, we're going to, I think we're going to get a passenger here, but actually, no, this is when they're going to start introducing multiple um, side-scrolling parts in a level, with the whole, you dock into an area, you do a side-scrolling section, you jump out, I see. et cetera, et cetera. And now we have a guy who's going to be talking to us through all of the cutscenes for the rest of the game, and smiling faces. <laughs> June Rao on the third? Yes. Nice. I like when they, like, switch off of the emotional state and it looks like serious business then, you know? Like, <laughs> By the way, grr. Yeah, like, I'm happy. All right, never mind. <laughs> like, it was, it's always a big act, no matter what they're doing. Exactly. I was happy, then I talked to you. Right. That's pretty much what they're saying. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, is that still going to be perfect, or? <laughs> we'll see. All right. Uh uh, it depends on the mission type, because I know the non-critical velocity ones, they give, or critical urgency, mm -hmm. they give you a little more leeway, because there are some missions, like, uh, one thing you can do in this game is that, uh, is it just right trigger for this to speed up screen? Uh, it is, yeah, R1. Yeah, it, and the thing is, like, the scroll speed, it does auto-scroll, but you can make it auto-scroll much, much faster. I see. Mm. Oh, uh, I get you. So now, because there's a switch missing, you gotta go into this, and I got mm -hmm. you. That's the baby. I understand. <laughs> I miss bombs so much right now. <laughs> Ray, that's velocity. Oh, and you rescued survivors, too, apparently. Which... Lots of rescue survivors. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What is the survivor here? They are all alien dudes who apparently all, like, are good at um, science and stuff. I think they're mostly scientists. Yeah. Which are eventually going to learn that. Are you playing the broad? Yes. All right, just making sure. Is there a, char <laughs> is there a character select? Nope. Okay, just making sure. Cool. So anyway, um, now that we got some place dilithium. Oh, wow, she skates everywhere, too, I noticed. It's awesome. Yep. This is This is pretty sick. It is. Is she in, like, any sort of... Does she, like, I don't know, like, advertise any insurance commercials or anything? Because that's my favorite kind of, like, space adventurer. Probably not yet. <laughs> that's soon. Got it. All right. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Mm-hmm. 
But Ty, you played these other games before? Uh, I played Velocity Ultra. It was on Steam, and it's been in a couple Humble Bundles and all that stuff. So somewhere along the line, I tripped and had a key. I actually, uh, Axel Nouse was talking about it, and I just, by random chance, I was like, wait a minute, I think I have that. And then I did, and I ended up playing it for like four and a half hours. I was like, whoops, <laughs> now it's one in the morning. One of those, so like, it's really good, and it gets you into it. It's it's super fast-paced, top-down shooter, uh, doesn't have the side-scrolling sections, but it's a lot of fun. The teleport mechanics, and then it starts getting a little puzzly and shit. It's is, good. is the is the two X in velocity like signifying the size of her pants? Probably. Okay, we'll go with that. Gotcha. I was really hoping to use that joke, but you wouldn't you wouldn't stop with the explanation. So now it's still time. <laughs> you ruined everything, Tuesday. Sorry, I, I know you're way into Metal Gear thighs, but <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing, Metal Gear thighs? Yeah, have you played Rising at all? Everybody's got Metal Gear thighs in that game. Even the dudes, like, fucking Monsoon's, he's got pants for days. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, actually thighs the size of, like, Metal Gear Rex or something like that. <laughs> no, that's oh, DLC. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, now we're fighting enemies for for the first time. Oh, wow. This is, this is like your standard kind of shoot 'em up sort of thing now, almost. But more puzzly. Right, right, right. Interesting. The other neat, interesting thing is that those little pods that they drop when you kill all the enemies recharges your special weapons, mm -hmm. and they also give you more points. So that's how you also can get the point requirement for getting a perfect gold. Gotcha. Uh, another thing that's kind of important, yeah, you can you can bump walls. You don't instant die from bumping geometry, which is nice. Right. That's like a weird thing in shoot 'em ups. Like sometimes you can't, sometimes you can. I don't know. Well, I don't know what these stupid things are doing half the time. How do I video games? Ooh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm casual trash. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm casual trav. That's what they called me in high school. <laughs> That's what I said about your book. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's most likely to be a filthy casual in High Tuesday. <laughs> you too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was well, weird as the first year they introduced that category, but what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, you know. Class count, casual trash, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, this game really keeps up the pace. It's yeah, kinda... it really does. Yeah. Oops. Cool. I... <laughs> Sorry. And uh, and this is a PS4 uh, or, or Vita? Both. Exclusive. Both, got it. Cross by, free, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Gotcha. Since this is a Sony, a Sony sponsored stream, um, exactly. I, uh, Sony, I, please I, give me all the money. Thank you very much. Good thing I own all of the Sony products. <laughs> and will buy it immediately. Oh, one way red spikes. Very clever, Sony game. <laughs> and the sound fidelity. Only Sony could have made such sound fidelity. As I mentioned earlier in the stream when you weren't here, the the music is actually done by the guy who did the Killzone series. Oh, cool. Yeah. Are, are those Sony things, Killzone? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, I've, I've played that, of course, then. Yeah, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Killzone yeah. Shadowfall. Killzone Just got Shadowfall. patched. Best one, um, next to this, or no, equally as good as this game. Next month is another science fiction game called Destiny with exclusive PlayStation content. Well, I, I'm only going to get the exclusive PlayStation version of Destiny. I know! It's the best thing, isn't it? I, I think it's pretty great, if you want my honest opinion. Um, <laughs> all right, and you unlocked something. Awesome. We might <sighs> actually get some uh, another perfect gold. Let's see what happens here. That's... It... <laughs> it's the, game just gives you, the game just gives you tons of, tons of... That's, a, that's like a beautiful metal. You're still I know. getting shit on top of it. My God. I know. <laughs> and the word perfect under it, in case you weren't quite sure. Did we add enough gold and stars to your medal? No? Well, you, it's perfect. How do you feel about stripes? You like stripes? We got tons, kid. We got some <laughs> crystals, too. You like those crystals, right? How do you feel about wings? Get two of them. And now a handshake from the perfect corporation's president, Sony. <laughs> Fist bump achieved. <laughs> oh, Jun. <laughs> no, all right. Watch, watch your expression. Oh no, it stayed this time. Okay. Yeah, it did. Yeah, no, sh yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
so this is basically like FTL only good. I'm just <laughs> joking. That was the that's the controversial thing just to get a little rise out of chat. I'm just ribbing you folks. <laughs> that they know of. <laughs> and there's now we finally get the first health packs in the game because the enemies can actually damage us now. Gotcha. But it's like that gonna happen? yeah. I say just like everything else in this game, um, it gives you points picking up the health pack, so you always want to pick them up. I see. So even if you're at full health, you should go for the health pack. Yes. Let oh, me just whoops. let me just spell out what you were saying exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the banjo and kazooie of modern speed shooters. I kind of yeah. teleported directly into a mine there by accident. Oh. Uh, Derp. Well, I guess you're only gonna get like one golden gilded metal now <laughs> well that is the thing in this game is that you have to beat the level to meet all those requirements and not die to get a perfect i see oh yeah. just not die well yeah all of those things at the same time and not die i got you so mm -hmm. teleporting in the mine didn't kill you though right oh it did oh oh okay <laughs> he was dead as hell yeah i'm dead as shit <laughs> Well, I, <laughs> I guess we all can't be perfect unless we were Sony. Stream <laughs> over. <laughs> also, future labs. <laughs> oh, did I really just do that? Holy shit. You'll see that in a second. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was... Derp. No. <laughs> oh, well, oh, man. Well, I'll check I... the bullets with my ship. Right. I'll just ram right into them. That is the one thing that will always instantly kill you, is if you fly into ships. Hmm. It's, a, it's a, usually when you hear that, like a shoot 'em up, you know, you think I could better dodge the shots. Maybe not so much anything else, but there's more to it. Well, yeah, that's the nice thing is that you can take some shots in this game, and that's mainly so that you can keep playing it as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. So you can just take hits so that you can keep moving as fast. Right. As a Sonic can. Mm-hmm. Damn it, now you put like some Sonic the Hedgehog songs in my head. No I'm problem. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> you do it well. I, um, I guess. There we go. Gotcha. I really miss the other gun for this, uh, for the side scrolling really badly right now. <laughs> so I have to say, this is this is definitely enticing me to um, get a PlayStation 4. Uh, that, that and PT, I guess. So, yeah, <laughs> PT. Holy shit. Yeah. That. <laughs> By the way, fun fact for everyone listening who do, who's thinking about getting a PlayStation uh, like console at all at this point, mm -hmm. get uh, they have a 14 day trial for PlayStation Plus. Okay. So you can just go in, grab the games, even if you don't have the system. Mhm. Mm and they'll be waiting for you when you do. Can you put in a good word for me with Sony to get me a, a, a system that I don't have to pay for or anything? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. I can. Yes. <laughs> Let me just get uh, President Sony on the phone. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sony. <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> me, and the, me and President Sony, and then the captain of Nintendo, and Lieutenant Xbox. <laughs> Great pals. Sorry, it's Master General Xbox now? Let's get what the hell's going wrong with his army. Oh! 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 Hey. <laughs> We're getting salty, I guess. Woo! <laughs> X-Burn. Uh, Hey, you got okay. You got all the all the little things. Yep, there you go. And all yeah, the crystals. Didn't get that. enough points. No, they didn't time. go fast enough to get gold because speed determines uh, gold, silver, mm -hmm. bronze. Rescues is number of stripes. Gemeralds is number of gems. I'm presuming and points is stars. Yep. Okay. Also, it's really hard to get not bronze. You have to beat the level to get bronze. Because it's like, oh, the requirement for getting bronze is 20 minutes. What's the time limit on the level? 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. Let's... I, I missed the story there because I looked away for a second. Uh, we... go, go do more things. No, it's okay. Are, are, we still, are, we, uh, are we still saving prisoners? That's the entire game. Hooray! I didn't miss anything after all. Those are some sweet dodges you got there. You don't have a lot of room to dodge. I mean, here you do, but whatever. So, um, not as spoilers, but spoilers. How long till we get the telepod? Because that's what ruins uh, me. Probably level 15 or so. We're almost at the point where I might just switch over to... Um, A later save to show it off? Yeah. 
uh, jump oh, ahead a bit. The telepod, yeah. It's it uh, the the basic mechanic of that it, it allows you to place a teleportation at an earlier part of the level so you can hop back to it. It it, it makes the game a lot more puzzly. Yeah. That so there will be hard. like branch. Yeah. So there will be like branching paths, and one will have like switch one and two. One will have switch three and four. Or in some cases, one will have switch red one. Another will have switch red two, three, and four. One will have switch yellow one. The other one will have switch. And it gets like that. Oh. So you have to like start jumping around and flying back and forth really quickly. So keeping the speed up while managing all that, yeah, it's real tricky, real fast. And you now imagine to tossing that into the side scrolling as well. Oh God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so you got you got switch one, so you can go now to docking bay B to get switch two, and then you mm -hmm. get switch three. I'm learning this game. Uh, oh shit! Here we go. Why isn't Jun Rocker the third or whatever his name is like helping in this? Can you unlock him? Is he like is that a thing? <laughs> no, he actually specifically says that his culture abhors violence. Oh, this fucking plot reason bullshit. I know. <laughs> I mean, Spock, you know, Spock did it, right? I mean, didn't... Spock beat the shit out of people. Did he? Oh, I thought yeah. he had the whole neck pinch thing, and then that was that. Well, except for, we you know, when those few times that he got, like, high on shit, or it was right. just, it was the time of the month for him to have sex with things, then he'd beat the yeah, shit he out of got, Yeah, he got boner high. Like, yeah. As you do as a Spock, you know. Oop. Wait, oh. that's a thing? I thought mm -hmm. that was, like, a Futurama joke, seriously? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there were a couple times where he just was like, I need to fuck something up! Ah! And just went on, like, a murder <laughs> rampage. Like, that was half the times you see, like, clips of him fighting Captain Kirk. It was because he had, like, a super rage boner. Like, that's really what it was. Also, that's part of the plot of, uh, start of movie three. <laughs> wait, wait, Remember? Wait, um, wait, you mean the new J.J. Abrams stuff? Like, no, right the old J.J., no, the old stuff. Oh, you mean, uh... The stuff that isn't it? offensively bad. The, the... What was the third one? That was, um... Search for after, Spock. Thank you, where he's on the planet and he's not really dead, but you think he is... Yeah, there's a whole too. part where he's just like, Oh my god! <laughs> Help! That's right. <laughs> Whatever, only Star Trek movie that counts is the one about saving the whales. No, no. <laughs> the one where they, <laughs> the movie the, owns. You know the awesome <laughs> one where they find God? Yeah, that's another good oh, one. Oh, yay, five. That's a great movie. I love that. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, a little bit of awesome game mechanics this game actually does is I accidentally almost went back into that uh, area to where the side-scrolling is. But it actually, if you just left, it takes you a second to get back in. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mean to, it doesn't immediately throw you back in and kill some of your time. They actually do give, it, give you a little leeway. Oh, that's if, that, if that sentence made sense at all, which I'm assuming no. it half did. I, 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 you summarized it at the end with a little leeway, so I, I figured close yeah. enough. Yeah. They realized it'd be a real bummer to ruin a perfect run by accidentally going too fast. Right, yeah. Speaking of, we were four seconds shy. <laughs> oh, way to go, dum-dum. Damn it. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> My bad. And now, we're going to have... A very new thing for the series, which I'm very excited that we finally get to. Ah! That looks like a really cramped ship. <laughs> Let's see here. Wow, that is a cramped ship. Holy. Oh, look at your buddy in the back, my whatever Rollin the Third. He's having a blast. <laughs> He's like, look at all this shit exploding! <laughs> He's just all smiles. He's like, my race abhors violence, but I I love Michael Bay films. So just put me back seat on all these explosions. I'm having a great time. You have to surrender this level, by the way. The cutscene said so. Nah, that'll be later. That's that's actually part of the DLC, unfortunately. Oh. Which, by the way, there is day one DLC for this game. Oh, okay. Which, but uh... They gave the whole game out for free, so... Yeah. I think it evens out. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, okay, yeah, that would make sense. Yep, the DLC is two ninety nine, called the Critical Critical Urgency Pack, and I just rammed into ships until I died. Go me. Hey, there you go. Yeah, this is this oh. is a tough level. This is one of those levels that when I first uh, perfected it, uh, I had to come back when I had bombs because it makes it a lot easier. Gotcha. Which I think we get bombs after uh, this level. Oh, well, like for reference, just yells taking damage to save time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. We have a boss fight. Oh my gosh. 
I, uh, General Glaive? Wasn't he from, like, uh, Star Wars Episode 3? Yeah. Yeah. No, the I bl I've, I've blacked those movies out. <laughs> <laughs> through, through therapy and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see here. This is a much more shmup type boss. Oh. Oh my gosh, it is. Yep. Each boss is very different. They usually use the big uh, gimmick of what you've had to deal with recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this game, it gets pretty... Uh, some of the bosses get really interesting. I'm okay. a very big fan of uh, the boss I think I'm about to fight on my main save, which introduces the fact that once you damage them heavily, you fly into the bosses and do a side-scrolling segment to kill them off. Oh, cool. This is a this is an interesting boss. He's got some neat little patterns to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of there's a lot about avoiding the fanfare. I've noticed. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of like um, little particle effects and like big sprites on screen that you don't actually have to dodge or anything. But and it also does help that you have some health that you can just you can tank a few shots if need to. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one thing that sucks about this fight is I don't believe you start off with uh, you don't get a health pack right beforehand, so you gotta uh, be a so little careful. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And if you die, it does put you right back at the, the start of the boss fight with the boss at the health that he was at. Oh, nice. Um, as far as your hitbox is concerned, is that like about the size of your ship? It is. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, first encounter? So, we might be seeing more of General Glaive? We might be. In fact, there's another one at level 23. Oh my god. Oh my god, indeed. And one at 33. Oh shit. Yeah. And number 44. Spoilers, please! No, oh, I wasn't ready for all this Glaive. You're only gonna take him. <laughs> Take him down in level 44, too. Shit. Yep, we're gonna get bombs now. Here we are. I also believe this is the first time all the scenery's gonna change, too. Oh, yeah, it is. So every, uh, like, ten or so levels, they change the backgrounds and all of the assets, which they did not do in the first game, which was kind of boring. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. You can speak. Oh, go ahead. I was just <laughs> you may speak. It's um, a nice aesthetic. That's all I was gonna say. Yeah. I'm a really big fan of the uh, fourth area, which is ice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks kind of neat. There's also some snow and stuff. Oh, is this... Um... Ooh, that was kind of insulting. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, this is not Jun's um, home world or anything, right? Nope, we work up to that. Gotcha. I believe that's the final area, actually, is their is she... home world. Is she shooting electricity while speaking right now out of her shoulders? or? Wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, I guess I would, right? Uh, yeah, if you're mostly cybernetic at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so now we unlock one of the big mainstays in this game, which is bombs. All right. Bombs are great. Mm -hmm. Bombs, they allow you to fire in the four directions. You can just you can just mash the right analog stick, just huck bombs at them. It'll one-shot a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And it's also really good at shooting left and right, which you can't do. Cool. Yep. We also got our guns upgraded, too, so they're a little more damaging at the same time. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Tattoos Day, here's something that you probably hated in the first game. Now, if you do them out of order, it doesn't reset. Uh, you know, I didn't mind it too much. Uh, it, it, was, dis it was disappointing when I fucked it up. But Wait, that was fortunately rare, because I understand how numbers work. The so, <laughs> it wasn't too common. Damn but it. when it did happen, it was very upsetting. I was just, oh no! The only time that it ever rears its head is when they had the switches in the middle of fights. And you would sometimes, like, be just a little more careful next time. So, with these bombs, it looks like you're pretty much ramming things, even though this is just really well-timed. Yeah. Also, what I just did in that room. Right. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hey, that's ridiculous. <laughs> How do you feel about particle effects? Because you're going to be seeing a lot of them. I'm for them. Shit, I did that again. Oh. Let's see here. Teleport into a mine? Yep. <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> So this yeah. is almost, yeah. I say, yeah, it happens, whatever. 
Hooray. Also, you may notice the bombs do really nice area effect damage, so it really helps you clear out the enemies and move faster. <laughs> That's all this game is about, moving fast. It's kind of like it's, it's part of the title or something. It's weird. Mm. You mean the 2x part of things? Yes, exactly. Right, right, right. Because it's very large. I understand. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have to like uh, keep track of what distance you're gonna? You have to keep track of like what distance you're gonna teleport, right? Yeah. You don't want to teleport into walls and shit like that. Well, it won't let you. Right. Oh, 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 I see. Like whenever you see the reticle turn red, it means I can't teleport there. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you can't like telefrag yourself or anything. No, you can't. But you can. Okay. You can teleport into enemies, which kills you. Right, or mines, or... Mm -hmm. Oh, but, yeah, yes. You can also mess up teleporting, not teleport, when you're trying to go very fast and get pushed against the back of the screen, which mm -hmm. is how I died a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is... This I noticed the hostile forces thing was lit up. Yeah, that just means that it's the type of mission that is. Hostile forces tends to mean there's a lot more enemies in the level. Uh -huh. um, search and rescue means there's a lot more people to collect, and critical urgency just means gotta go fast. I see. Those are some of the best levels, are the critical urgencies. Right, right. She's so, like, angry sometimes. Yeah. And then, like, a second later, like... Teehee! Yeah. <laughs> I guess right. it's better than Adam Jensening about, like, getting... You know, all the cybernetic, I didn't ask for this. No, but you were going to die, deus ex man. Like, just get it together. <laughs> Alas, Tofaxis, come on. <laughs> oh, you missed. Th oh, there you go. Yep. Hooray. Um, now, you press the trigger buttons to do left and right bombs? No, it's the right analog stick. Oh, right analog stick. Got it, got it, got it. I understand now. Huh. Oh, there we go. Let's see what chat's saying here. How does uh, video games? <laughs> one one person thought we should have more chat interaction, and because it w didn't exist, decided to leave. Like, is that kind of like <laughs> a gambit to get interaction with that? Person? You should interact with chat some more. Bye. Yeah, and then you're like, wait, come back, Angel Four Seventy. You know, <laughs> you're the one Velocity. I needed. Come, Velocity lover, don't go or whatever. Yeah. Or, or in my case, just wait for them to leave and be like, all right. No, that asshole's gone. Let's start the chat interaction. <laughs> I can't really interact with the chat too much because I'm kind of focusing on a game like this. Yeah, I understand. One of those kind of things. Let, let, let's field some questions. What do you got for me, chat? Taking questions. Oh, what do you know? Um, Ty Tuesday asks, where can I get this wonderful Sony made game? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that it is available on the PlayStation Network right now for free on PlayStation Plus? What? Tell me more! If you do not currently have a PlayStation Plus account, you can go on there right now and get a 14-day trial for free. I have to get this immediately. And once I get game on PlayStation Plus, I get game forever, yes? As long as you have PlayStation Plus. What, what the? Is... What a deal! Can you express this in some sort of meme? No. Like, <laughs> so dog? <laughs> Very dog much place internet. <laughs> uh, no. Touchdown, is that a meme yet? <laughs> now, now you're speaking my language. Sports meme. The language of Sony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Seriously, though, you got really high velocity going. Hey, Thank you. easy now. I got uh, two times the velocity. Mm hmm. I understand. Hey, cool. So, all right, all the little blue gem things are the survivors. Yes. Gotcha. It's probably smarter than to like enclose himself in gem-like things. So, Collect me is pretty much what they say on them. Yeah. By the I, way, I'm collectibles. This is the infamous level 15 that we've been we've been hyped up a bit on, right? I think so. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, oh, it is. It is. This is what I'm waiting for. Holy shit! You yeah. were right. This is this know. is what I get the other gun. Cool. Oh, the mining rifle. That sounds like a cool gun. It is. Well, yeah. That's why it sounds like one then. I guess. Mm -hmm. Burr? <laughs> uh, well, I do believe acceleration in this case would be, um, oh god, now I'm gonna mess up my kinematics and people are gonna make fun of me. Um, what, the in the integral of velocity? Is that where you're going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I was trying to remember the, the baby formula for, you know, I don't expect everyone in your chat to know. <laughs> it's just calculus. Oh, shit. Here we go. 
So yeah, uh, we now. That's the, sorry, you missed out on some really good comedy there. We were almost heard a velocity equation. Anyway, oh, wow. Yeah. How do you guys feel about calculus jokes? <laughs> right? So now you can see the mining rifle actually makes this go even faster now. Oh, wow. It can only fire um, laterally. Uh, okay, gotcha. So you can now move in like one quick direction and it'll. Blow stuff up. All right, cool. I like I like this I like this weapon a lot actually. Is there a button to switch between gun or is it just two different buttons? Two for different gun? buttons. Uh, the firing the normal gun is the right analog stick, and firing the mining rifle is the um, circle button. I love that there's no limit on bo bombs, so you can just go the whole hog, just go nuts, have a party. <laughs> wow. This is a pretty fast-paced uh, game there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, <laughs> I'm just, just putting that out there. Did you know what I? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, we didn't need a follow-up, I guess. Nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Did we? Did we want to do a like? Oh, this game is awesome. What's it called? The derivative of acceleration. Now there's a joke. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Jesus. It has taken us this long to actually make comedy. Oh, God. Thanks for showing up, Slow Beef. God. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the derivative of velocity x squared? Huh? Yes! I did it! <laughs> Stream over. We're done. We got it. Oh, yeah! No, we've hit, we've had peak Zenith of uh, jokes. No, fuck you, Turbo C! I got there first! <laughs> <laughs> I will have to say it is now a little hard to concentrate as I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> Calculus, fuck all y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is this the derivative of the integral of displacement? Uh, plus two? No, wait. Two. I don't know. Let me open up Wikipedia so I can keep up. There is, there is an actual question in the chat. <laughs> what is the reason for using your weapons when you have unlimited bombs? Um, mainly because the bombs move slower. So if you are flying upwards towards something, a lot of times you'll kill the enemies a lot quicker with your guns. So it's kind of like a good idea to do both. Let's say we were make a take a Taylor series of the the bomb speed. I was uh, uh, compound interest or something. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we are now going to switch over to the main, my main account, so I can jump into levels that I have beaten already. Oh my gosh. Burp. Indeed, burp. <laughs> and I can even see other games, and damn. Is that how you say, is that how you give somebody the finger in her time period? <laughs> I guess. Here's my gun hand. <laughs> oh, look, it's my favorite game, Fantasy I was just playing fantasy football before. <laughs> or you're in fantasy violence, which is a lot different. You were playing fantasy football, not drafting a team. You were playing fantasy football. That's right, yes. It's like wizards and orcs. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. This is the second boss fight. Nice. Yeah, what do the uh, points get you? Like the XP and all the stuff? Oh, the XP is how you unlock other levels. Oh, okay, so there's like a mandatory minimum to get to uh, certain points in the game? Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, you, re you rescued some survivors there, by the way, I don't know if you noticed. Oh, I did? Well, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the call-out's still there, like, this many levels in. Like, just in case you weren't sure what you were doing. And it's also in a place that you're not going to be watching. Right. <laughs> It's almost like closed caption for the hearing impaired. <laughs> boom, boom. Now, does this game also have the thing where you get your special weapon, but if you run out of ammo for it and then pick up additional ammo, it doesn't matter? Uh, it, it refills your special. Okay, so even if you've run completely out of special, it won't just get rid of it entirely. Correct. Like Ultra did. Okay, cool. What the fuck? Now, to kill this thing's shield, we have to hit these correctly. Oh, I thought you were waiting for the answer, like some kind of teacher or something. No. <laughs> you have to kill these um, particle shields? Was this mentioned in a cutscene? I'm just also dodging it is the problem. Gotcha. 
Ty, what, what was the answer to number three? Um, uh, uh, Velocity! Uh, uh, South oh, Africa. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, we're fighting a space wizard here, or...? Yes, we're fighting Glaive again! Now he has space oh, wizard technology. Is... We're not I playing thought... Destiny yet. That comes out next week. Gotcha. Moon space wizards. Moon space wizards. Oh boy, gosh. I actually don't know anything about Destiny, just FYI. There actually is Moon Space Wizards. Oh, okay, cool. There you go. You dodged some nice bull bullet hell there. You rammed into... Well, no, actually. Did you ram into something, or it just looked like it? Just kind of looked like it. Oh, wow. That's the, the entire um, screen kind of highlights in uh, red if I get hit. I see. Oh, that's the tell. Gotcha. Yeah, the periphery. Mm -hmm. No, why is why are there why is the number one in his little satellites there? It's probably because of the way the game is programmed, so that you can hit them oh. technically in any order, and you don't have to hit them sequentially. And I did take a lot of damage there. Oops. Yeah. And there was a question earlier: Can you go back and replay old levels to that's get higher doing. rankings? That's, yes, that is what... one of the big things of this game. Is <laughs> no, 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 one no, shot. That's don't fuck it. up. Also, yeah, we're like, doing that right now. Actually, oops, I died. It's a tattoo. It's a... Now you can see what I was talking about, cause whoops, <laughs> Mulligan. Mulligan. Well, at least he's almost dead. Yeah, I see what you're talking about now. Whoops. Right. Now you do though have to hit these in a sequence, right? Like you can only hit the one that's glowing white. The one that has the yeah the arrow on it. Got it. Cool. Oh shit. Kind of. You think if Glaive just like didn't use that one, he'd be okay? Yeah. Yeah, but pff, whatever. What an idiot. <laughs> Jackass. Classic Glaive. <laughs> <laughs> Womp. Womp womp. Alright. Now you see what happens when you're playing a game over. It's like, oh, I took a little more time, so the ring is red. Right. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. yeah. But you're, you're still perfect somehow. Well, because I already perfected it. All, all the levels so far are perfect for, what is it? 29, which is where I'm at. Gotcha. That's, uh, wow. That's, and it's close to perfect. But... So you're the kind of person who has to play a level over and over until you get a perfect? Yes. <laughs> yep, that's understandable. <laughs> I... <laughs> See, I usually finish it first and then loop back. If, if anyone was curious on what I do differently. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I care a lot about the slow beef uh, completionist methodology. <laughs> <laughs> now we're introduced to speed pads. What's a speed pad? It's literally what it says in the name. Yes! It's like a regular pad, but faster. It's a sonic pad. Now we you have the telepods here. We're gonna see what we were talking about earlier. So just drop uh, one there. Oh, got it. Oh, that's that's I see. That's really tricky. Now these also oh. exist in the side scrolling sections. Oh no. Oh shit. So I already had enough trouble with the regular ones. And we have enemies to fight. You have to tell you have to tell dash through them, shoot them in the back, they're done. So um, with, uh, so with the telepods, you get how many? Like, just one or more than one? Or? Uh, it's in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Oh, okay. Got it. Damn. The they thought of everything. <laughs> they really did. Okay, so they got three and four. Right. Now, if I wanted to get them back, I can just go to the map. This is how you can use the telepods, is that you can just select one and teleport to it. But now, if I want it back, I can just hold triangle to retrieve it. And this is something that's also really neat. You can you can teleport from the map out of the level. You don't have to hit the end. Ah. So these and are like, these are like, yeah. you could also do the same thing. You can go back into it that way, too, in case you mess something up. Ah. That is... Wow. So you really you should really know these levels inside and out if you want to like do this at the fastest time. Yeah, that's usually what they require. What now? Why was that guy covered in like yellow electricity kind of shit? Uh, which guy? There was a guy up above. Oh, it's that's that's the force field. That means I haven't killed all the yellow uh, switches yet. Got it, got it, got it. I see, I see. So yeah, killing it unlocks yeah. that. So if you can go, on. yeah, I got you. Wouldn't these guys? So if these guys wore a backpack, you'd be kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah. All right, I see. Okay, now we go back to here. And also, they now list on the um, the places where you go if you hit all of the switches that exist in there. Which is kind of oh. nice so that you can know in case you fuck something up. Oops. Cool. 
All right, that's that's thanks for thanks for that. Thanks for small favors, Velocity. Yes. Nice. Now, uh, gotcha. And and the game is speeding up and slowing down for these sections automat automatically, right? No, that's what I'm doing. Oh wow, okay. That's the R1 button. Is I'm just holding it down to boost forward a little bit, scrolling up faster. That's all on you. I see. Damn, this is a complicated fucking game. It's a lot of it is just rhythm. I hear ya. Yeah. Good job, Lieutenant Kaitana. I've uh I've learned a lot today about velocity and maybe even myself. Oh, I I learned a lot about us as a people talking in a thing. I guess words hard. Yeah. <laughs> a, a trio, I think we call us. Ah, that's that's the word I am looking for. Mm-hmm. I go up. Oop, oop, not what I wanted to do. There we go. Oh. Yeah, you can also throw the telepods, which is... Ah, okay. Yep. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. I like that a lot. It's like, uh, it's like flashback, but with a little bit of physics to it. And not a terrible remake. No. No, not oh. a terrible remake. Fuck. I didn't no. even bother playing that. Go ahead, sorry. Ah, no, I'm just being dumb here. Because this moment that they run into, you die. They have one-hit kills. Yeah, I see. So it's a little rough. Right. You'd think they'd eventually learn the whole teleporting gimmick, you know? But eventually they do, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, never mind, then. Did I mess that up? No, I didn't. Okay. No, I think you were good, right? No, I was, missing... I was checking the map. Oh, got it. See if I was missing any. Oh, okay. So, uh, fun fact, the first time I was really close to perfecting that level, I was just like, so I'm just holding down the, uh, the R1 to boost up, and I'm like, okay, I got this. Got, got killed by the screen, because I forgot to shoot those <laughs> final things. So I'm like, oh, oh. God, God damn it. <laughs> oh, the worst. Now All a right. critical urgency. We haven't done one of these in a while. Okay. Uh, critical urgency, got it. So, what was the critical urgency again? Just that, really fast? Yep, can't, you really can't let go of the right trigger, and they are designed around being like this. I s oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I like, too, that, um, in the, in Velocity Ultra, they, for whatever reason, felt the need to give you a, the same piece of art on every single Critical Urgency mission. Just so you do. <laughs> Yeah, they, as opposed to this one where it's just like, it's called, there's a lightning bolt, and it's called Critical Urgency. They had that too, but then they were also like, how do you feel about this picture? <laughs> you really like it? Because you're going to see it a bunch of times. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh -oh. I was paying attention. Oh, ah. Uh, there we go. Damn, this is a... Uh, whoop. This is kind of a hard level. Let me start that over. You're just gonna start over, you said? Yep. Oh, gotcha. oh I missed the switch. Mm hmm. That's yeah. reason enough to start over. <laughs> this is almost like one of those, like, uh, end of life force kind of deals, you know? Yeah. Where you're, like, escaping the planet and shit, except a lot less bullshit and a lot more fun looking. Yeah, um, that's why I'm really happy with that DLC, because it's all these missions. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so they're like, yeah, we know a lot of people like the critical urgencies. So we designed a DLC after we were done making the game that is just... They said, like, it's this no you reuse... It's all reused assets, all reused music. We just... So that people don't feel cheated out of there being DLC day one. Um, let me just read this index card here. Uh, another smart move, Sony. <laughs> Good, keep, keep the script, please. All right, you got it. <laughs> Oops. All right. And what I like about this game is when you lose, it feels like your fault, which apparently <laughs> is something that people like nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I like it when it doesn't feel like the game's fault. Like, right. it's not bad design. No. That, yeah, that, that is actually a thing. There, there's know. some, yeah, you know. Also, I, another design thing you may have noticed in these specifically is if you, based on the direction of where the, um, the docking station is, is where you're moving at the very start. So if it's on the left of the screen, you're running to the left immediately. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you, you just kind of hold down the the controller there. Mm -hmm. feel, feel like a big man. I understand. Nice. I need that. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no judgment here, friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, all right. There you go. And uh, I beat my bullets. Hooray. 
Critical urgency. Best times. That, is, that actually does look like a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Ah, and you can see the time requirement is actually really strict. It looks like it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you have to hold down that. I actually just hit the time to hit gold on that. Fucking humble brag, thanks. No, uh, I'm, I'm saying like the like when I actually did get the goal to see it says 144, so I so I uh, had two seconds. That's how tough these are in time. They're very strict. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in ultra, if you let go of the boost for even a fraction of a second on level 50, you did not hit the time requirement. So you absolutely cannot let go. And level 50 is fucking rough. <laughs> So you, oh, okay, so you fi you have actually finished this before then? Uh, Ultra? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ultra, I, I'm sorry, Ultra, Ultra. Yeah, I have the platinum for Ultra, which is you have to get uh, perfect gold on every level, which is gotcha. really hard. Same thing exists for this game. I gotcha. Let's do the level I'm working on. I'm sorry if you explained this. What is the experience for? Getting new levels. That's right. Okay. Oh, okay, got it. I see. So it's actually, yeah, so this isn't, if you did, like, terrible on all these levels, you might not actually have earned enough to progress in the game. Usually it's actually pretty good about that. It oh. will give you enough XP to keep moving as long as you beat the levels. I see. And you get most of the survivors, which it's really hard to not get all the survivors. Mm -hmm. I mean, not all, at least as long as you get, like, two tier, not perfect tier. Mm -hmm. I know one way that this, I was thinking about this, that would be kind of interesting to race, is just do... <clears throat> the race who can get to like a certain level and just make it you know not one that requires everything be perfected just so you know like you, you have to decide like okay what levels i'm gonna skip which levels i'm gonna you know gonna come back to later what you know stuff like that especially because there's the whole um you get power-ups later on that you can bring back mm -hmm. and now in this game it introduces a new wrinkle with the side scrolling areas um, on this level alone where uh, now the um, the switches are timed. Oh, goodness. Only the side-scrolling sections, though. Oh, cool. What, uh, what do you call it? What other kind of awesome weapons do you get in this game? Uh, I don't know yet, because as far as I've gotten. Wow, it's like an adventure for all of us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read my card here again. Thanks, Sony. That was an easy one. <laughs> I think that one was worth like three bucks. Probably. Yeah. Thank you, Future Lab. You are a great company who develops games. <laughs> but especially Sony. I don't know that way. That was written. Who <laughs> publishes their games? <laughs> right. Um, oh, shit. I forgot about that jump. Oh, no. Yeah, this is when the game starts showing its teeth. Jeez. Damn it. How are you? Oh, you have, to, you have to jump and teleport down? Yep. Impossible, I say. Can't oh. be done. Literally has never been done by how you did it. <laughs> also, that uh, that enemy there is actually in a really terrible position after that, too. <laughs> Hold on, let me read this card. That's okay, Axonos. You're still a game master. You could just say Fragger. Fragger. Hold on, let me just turn that around. I meant Fragger. You're still a game master. <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of these cards. They seem to fit almost everything. You know, it's pretty. It's, you know what? That's pretty fantastic. Yeah, that's what happens. Like when you get to reach a certain level on Twitch. Ah, <laughs> they give you they give you the cue cards. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's, a, it's what every streamer like. It's their big secret. The moment you get promoted, you get cue cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just starts. It's just spitting out of your computer. <laughs> God damn that time requirement. Hmm. Fuck cold calculation. What a jerks. New cutscene. Oh, that's another thing, too. Uh, nice of them in the me in the menus. You can actually turn off mm -hmm. uh, cutscenes if you've already seen them. Right. So or you have to go through this. It. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's see. <laughs> that sounds... God damn, that sounds like me on Twitter. Hey! Hey, oh! Uh, uh. That sure is something that I understood. Yep. <laughs> That's a reference for you guys. Oh, man, those are the best. Oh, uh, shit. Help me. <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> shit. I was I was just, like, staring at this, like, I want this level. <laughs> <laughs> this is a... This looks really fucking hard, to be frank with you. Mm-hmm. Alright, 
So first you gotta go forward and did you miss a teleport? No, you didn't. Okay. So you both. Dude. That, yeah. Dude. Oh crap. Uh, how do you get that? It looked like a bonus gem roll. It is a bonus level. That means you just gotta toss a telepod on there, and you're not gonna 100% this level mm -hmm. on the first run because of that. So I'm gonna do that actually. Just toss that down there. I see. Okay, and then you blew that up there. So you toss that down. You go down. You. Work. God damn, this is tricky. The, and it remembers that you threw the gem like or the bomb downward, big like behind you. Yep. Holy shit, that's a jump. Mm-hmm. Wow. Kaikatana ladies fucking Oh nuts. come on wow. game I'm like a second behind so I'll <laughs> That was cool. These these are like these are getting awesome. There you go, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Slide canceling. That's pretty crazy. That was a that was an oopsie jump. Yeah. I'm also I am also playing this blind right now, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this is definitely a very rules of nature moment. Actually, I don't know that I would have known you were playing this blind, because you are pretty damn good at this. Yeah, well, it helps the fact that I have been playing this game for a little bit now. Uh -huh. Thank, thanks to Future Live giving me this game a week early, a month early, sorry. Sure. Oh, shit. Oh, I was scratching my nose. Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was going fast enough that I would be glided. Oh, shit. Glided along there, and I wasn't. So, whoops. So you're only glided if you go a certain speed? Uh, yeah, um, if you're going regular speed, you'll get... Come on. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Jesus. That's ridiculous. I don't even know what it was, actually. Oh, I, oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's so jerky. <laughs> I mean, great design. Again, Future Labs with Zonia's Bubble Jerk. <laughs> Damn, this is ridiculous. Yeah, and it builds up to this too, which is kind of, which is why it's kind of awesome. Yeah, it doesn't just throw you to the wolves and say, "Eat, eat this asshole." Right. It just goes, right. "No, we're gonna teach you how to play this game, and then we're gonna take the gloves off." <laughs> Damn. And it seems like it's just it's difficult enough that when you do it and you're done, you're pretty chuffed about how well you did. <laughs> With those deaths, I was. uh 20 seconds over. Oh, wow. As I said, it's very the, the requirements are very tight for the critical urgency. Mm. And that's level 30 of 50. Jesus. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then the DLC is apparently much, much harder. <laughs> and how many levels come to the DLC, sir? Uh, or... Six, I believe. I can, actually, I'll check that right now. Oop, nope, that's level select. Uh, da, 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 da. It's probably listed in the actual... Store. Sure, let's visit the PlayStation uh, Store. Fuck it, we're here. <laughs> nope, I. That's. Oh, I guess they haven't updated the game. I can't buy it in game. Oops. Oh. Uh, let's see here. So, Master, these levels dazzled your friends. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, so. Crystal Maze. Yeah, it's a Crystal Maze. And then right. uh, we'll hop over to the other shmup that is on the PS4, which is Rezio Gun. Alright, cool. Which is the game about cubes. Nice. Defender with cubes. Oh, cool. I like I like Defender. I like cubes. Mm, I like those things, too. Nice. I'm a fan of shapes. Mm. <laughs> oh, <man>. Ow. <laughs> yeah, this really does uh, come off as a game where they kind of got their mechanics and just got them down. That's interesting. Wow, that's a lot of colors. That's a lot of colors. Okay, yeah, now we're seeing some of this telepod, who's a what's it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Gotta go up more? Okay. Um, uh, yeah, because there's red eight. Okay, there's orange one. Yeah, see, this is where I was starting to have... Uh, me being dumb issues. <laughs> just, just going cross-eyed while you're playing. Yeah, trying to be like, oh, wait, okay, I need to, I need to go to blue and uh, red three, and I sunk my own battleship, and okay. <laughs> I ate too many potatoes now. What the fuck? I don't even know where I got these potatoes, but I just went through hundreds of them. Oh gosh, and you have okay. to jump to the side-scrolling levels too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this this game. 
Yeah, they they have done a thing with this. That's that's good though that they realized they had kind of a winning set of mechanics and it looks like the things they added were not bad. Yeah. Which is a plus. <laughs> a lot of sequels make that mistake. They, you know, ruin the game. Damn it. There we go. The only problem I have with this game at times is um, the fact that you, when you throw the telepod, it is mapped to the, um, you have to use the left analog stick to throw it. Oh, that's weird. So you, like, you get, you, you get used to doing the, um, the ship stuff with the, um, the D-pad, but then, uh, you switch over to, yeah, I, I, you understand what I'm going with, because I'm just trying to... Mm -hmm. I, I have to warn you both, I got an email from Microsoft, and they're going to give me um, $1,000 if I start mentioning things that look terrible about this game. Oh. No. No. <laughs> I understand. I'm, Makes sense. I'm, I'm just joking. Sony's counteroffer. Right. I'm just, hold on, let me just read. I'm just joking, everything looks great. Exclam I mean, yeah, X great. Too bad on the Xbox One. <laughs> Thank goodness for PlayStation console ex exclusives exclaim this oh whoops i mean yeah I... <laughs> stage right <laughs> this is a really cool level yeah it looks like they're finally starting to get to the point where it's just hey remember the telepod <laughs> <laughs> how have you gotten with the telepod answer better be great oops that was a mistake on my part Damn yeah, it. Done got shanked. Yup. <laughs> so, all right, so you have to throw the, I get it, you, throw the, you have to throw the telepod to go a certain distance, and that means, like, you're one less telepod to use during the whole thing. Yeah, well, the thrown ones always come back to you, which is kind of oh, nice. Oh. It's the ones that you place uh, diminish. Gotcha. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hey, um, uh, question from, uh, my friend Blackbird. When, um, when was this game released? Today! Yes. It was released today. For the cheapest free price of free. Right. And Blackbird's a community manager of a game I can't promote right now because it's not a Sony, uh, <laughs> <laughs> game. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Hmm. Huh? Oh, swinging to miss Mike Piazza. Gonna go have to get those fives and sixes again. Yeah, I did. I missed something there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's the quad with the five sixes. Did you leave? Uh, did you leave a telepod back there? No. Well, too bad. Take easy. Or did you? No, uh, all the way back. Oh, there's there's oh, always one at the beginning of the level too. Oh, cool. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, so fuck your time bonus, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these, you, you play through them once or twice so that you can get a feel for the level, then you go back in and you perfect it, or you spend a lot of time trying to perfect it. <laughs> Depending. Depending. Hooray! Whew. Ah, see, you can see the time is a little less strict on levels like that. Yep, uh, this is free if you have PlayStation Plus. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is cross by with the Vita, so if you have a PS4 or a Vita, you get this game for free. Mm hmm. And you can get a 14 day trial of PlayStation Plus right now, if I understand correctly, from Sony. Correct. You go to store, look up PlayStation Plus, bam, there it is. Now let's. to read on an index card. <laughs> <laughs> now let's take a, let's take a quick. Sorry, sorry. Hooray for Sony. Yeah, hooray for Sony. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're switching over to Rezio Gun now, which I am not as good at yet. I haven't gotten a feel for Rezio Gun yet. All right. What's the what's the gimmick with um, Rezio Gun? It is a defender type game where you're flying around, uh, side scrolling, picking up humans and fighting big ass bosses. Whoa! I like all those things. Mm-hmm. I like picking up humans too, if you know what I mean. Eh, huh? eh, eh. Hey. This also has co-op. Oh. Local, they added local in via, via free patch, and it also has online co-op. Wow. And a survival mode, which is supposed to be fucking amazing, and dumb militia as well when you buy the Heroes expansion, which I don't have. That's experienced. And using this, 
Because <laughs> you can make your own ships out of cubes. See, this is DLC early that I am 100% okay with. Mm -hmm. Where it's just, you get the whole game for free, and it is, in fact, a full, complete game. But this also really was the like first. It, this was the first PS Plus game. Really? Yes. This was released the day that the PS4 came out, and was free on PlayStation Plus. I, re I recognize the name, actually, from that. AKA, you have no information from... No, I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> By the way, um, when it is talking... The uh, when it's like says save the last humans, that is the speaker on the controller says that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's interesting. So the level sort of arranged like a cylinder kind mm -hmm. of around. Uh. Oh, okay, got it. So that's how they basically achieve like a wraparound effect kind of thing. Yep, Very those cool. little green cubes are progressing the bar at the bottom of the screen, and uh, what that does is that brings the boss into play. Uh, I see. Well, will get to get the matter of them cubes, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those uh, enemies that I just fought that are tinted green will drop a uh, human out. Gotcha. We have a little counter on the top that talks about humans. We also have a score system, as you can probably tell. Right, right, right. <clears throat> <laughs> so, yeah, Blackbird pointed it out, but um, did you purposefully build this yourself? Did you go out of your way to make the Starship Enterprise? No, actually, I found it. <laughs> you found the Starship Enterprise? Because there it. is a, uh, like, a, uh, like a, not a store, but a place where you just download a whole bunch of them. And uh, somebody made the Enterprise, and it was highly rated. I'm like, oh, yeah, Enterprise, let's do this. Gotcha. That's so weird. We were talking about Star Trek earlier and everything. That's why I kind of giggled when I was thinking about this. I'm like, ah, I'm totally playing Rezio, got to do that. So, the Enterprise is a ship from Star Trek, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Take that, nerds! Uh, uh, lost two humans. I you know, we made why. a lot of jokes here, but Star Trek is a good show. No, I like I the next generation. <laughs> I, heard, I heard it's a good show. I, uh, I watched it. I did, too. <laughs> I, fun, I fun, fun fact! I missed the first season, so I didn't know who that woman was in the last episode, but whatever. <laughs> you lost me. I don't know how much Star Trek. Oh, so <laughs> oh no, my cred! I think there's a character called Tasha Yar who is in like the first yep. season or first couple, maybe. And I just started watching it after her. So when they reintroduced her in the last episode, I, I was lost. That's my story. Let's go back to calculus now. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go back to the cool kid jokes. <laughs> all the cool kids love calculus. Oh, we mm -hmm. all. <laughs> So this is um, this is pretty neat too. So th is this one still free or no? Uh, PlayStation Bye. Plus. The way it works is that it's only free for a month or so. Uh huh. And uh, this one was the first like majorly free one, I guess. And this one was for six months until they changed their system. And oh my god, I'm being swarmed. Holy shit! Go up what? or left? No. Oh god, you're screwed. I turn up my boost. Ship. Give up. I did not mean to turn on my overdrive. Whoops. Well, that looks great, actually. Yeah. No, what? don't turn that on more often. Yeah, <laughs> really. That owns. By the way, you could also throw the humans. Oh. Like I'm doing there, trying to toss them into there. There we go. Like to appease the aliens? Yeah. Have Alien you. gods. Just here. Whatever. I give up. And what, as in all shmups, mean? that. Oh, bombs. Oh, also, what the? Wow. Yeah, so I guess uh, I guess I am getting that PS4 at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Rezio Gut is really good. Uh, when a lot of people say, "Hey, uh, games to buy on the PS4 right out," Rezio Gun is tends to be up there. Wow. Yeah, it's really fun. good. It's funny too, because when you like when that was, I think, like one of the first must-get games, right? Because it's like yeah. But you look at it, and it looks like kind of like a simplistic sh shoot 'em up So you're like, really? You know, like PlayStation 4? And then now looking at it, I was like, this is actually really cool looking. It's actually got a lot of depth to it. Um, yeah. And it's really hard. And uh, there's uh, really high difficulty in the game, too. This is on, like, the second uh, lowest, actually, right now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. There's, like, normal difficulty? Mm-hmm. There is actually something that you love doing. Uh, so there's a 1cc mode. Hey! Built into the game. Wow. 
I like doing it. I don't do the. I don't succeed at them, but you know, still. There's also, I believe, a trophy for doing that as well. Oh wow! Well. Yeah, I think it's actually the one CC trophy is to do it on the highest difficulty. Yeah, which you could do, which you, which you could do in co-op also. <laughs> so can you Shit. demo us the highest difficulty after? Uh... I actually haven't unlocked it. Is the problem? <laughs> oh no! Oh wow! You yeah, that's a death. Up awesome. Yeah, because <laughs> everything oh, is made of cubes. Oh, this game is really pretty. That's one thing I gotta say. It's, it's always nice. Because I remember like uh, Geometry Wars when that first came out, and I was like, I don't really get. It. And I was like, Wow, this looks really nice for you know being just Jesus. shapes and shit. <laughs> yeah, and the other thing you guys are missing, this game plays at uh, 60 FPS as well. Oh, wow. See that on... Oh, I can't. I turned off the Twitch thing. Damn. Now waiting for the boss to appear. As the field has expanded, and now we fight the boss. Oh, man. I, I, I want to see this. Oh, wow, that's a cool-looking boss. So, okay. So the graphics, I, I get it. Like, the cubes are kind of making up pixels that these things are made out of, more mm -hmm. or less, kind of thing. Yep. Very cool. It also allows them to have really big explosions, too. Does Damn. that turn into currency? When you get enough cubes, can you buy more parts Shit. for your ship? Wow. Oh, that's awesome. This is kind of your kind of game, isn't it? Oh, shit. Whoops. I forgot yeah. I wasn't playing Velocity for a second there. That's <laughs> pretty awesome, yeah. Now, are, are these... Now, y you might know. Are these voxels? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they are, but they might be. I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay, get out. Chat, chat, one of you people know. Is, are these voxels or am I crazy? I don't think they're voxels. Whatever. I think who cares? voxel is just a fancy word for cube, right? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I, I, a volumetric pixel and a pixel is inherently a square, so I mean. Right, it's, Seriously? It's I died? I game over? Uh -huh. Shit. Aww. Uh -huh. Let's. Yeah, see, I don't have master difficulty unlocked, but I'll kick it up to veteran and use a shift that I actually know how to use better. All right. Yeah, let's use the nemesis. Because the problem is, is that ship is slow, because that is the ship that you want to once you see the game with, because it's slow, but it has a ton of firepower. The, that custom Enterprise. Now, this ship here also fires a little faster. Which is nice, but we are now playing on the higher difficulty, which is going to be a little rough, but, you know, whatever. Oh my god, it is voxels. What do you know? What do you know? Also, by the way, they also do another thing, too, with the difficulty in the game. You can only achieve a certain multiplier based on your difficulty. So scores are much different, depending on your difficulty. I, I have more exciting news for both of you, by the way. What's up? My uh, fantasy football team is now drafted. Yeah! Stream out of ten! <laughs> have you uh, ha have you uh, gone on ESPN and got your uh, team ranked? Oh no, I haven't. Oh man, you got to do that, and then you can get a D minus, and I can laugh at you. <laughs> where do you where do you get that? Yeah, ESPN.org.gov/slash/football <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> oh, it gave me it gave me Resogun colon Sony is awesome with three exclamation points. Damn, you're gonna get all the touchdowns. Those... <laughs> It's 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 it's, 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 tight ends? It's, wow. it's touchdown, right? That's, that's yeah, what we're talking about. Oh, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's touchdown. Ranks. Oh, that is the wrong button. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's see here. All right, let's go back to let's go back to Riz, 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 Riz. What are voxels? Voxels are a fancy word for cube chat. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it, and I looked at his voxels, yeah. These are these are totally fucking voxels. Not recognize a voxel from a mile away. <laughs> this is like really, really highly detailed 3D dot heroes. <laughs> you, ever, you ever see that game? Probably more fun too. Take that game. Oh shit. Because <laughs> I know all about that game. I've never played. <laughs> it's like the Legend of Zelda with like very. It's it's also voxel based like this, but. It's intentionally low polygon count, you know, to make it look like NES-ish. Didn't From Software make that as well? They did. And, uh, as you know, they make terrible games. Oh, yeah, terrible they make the non. worst games ever. Only Scrubs worst. play their games. Serious, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, From makes a bunch of shit games for babies. Right. <laughs> Gee, oh, man. <laughs> Holy Fools. shit. Fools. That's a death. Oh, shit. 
from software, more like from my ass hole mm -hmm. <laughs> software. I did not see that enemy, holy shit. I gotta say, this game at least makes like, when you blow up, it, you know, it hurts a little bit because you're like, ah, shit, but at the same time it's like, eh, at least it looks rad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, uh, you'll like, blow up on purpose your first couple times. <laughs> you're like, damn, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I know my multiplier's lost. You don't need to tell me, controller speaker. <laughs> oh, box. There we go. Oh, close. man, I remember first game I played that used a controller speaker. It was the only game I played on the Wii that used a controller speaker. It was, uh, oh, God, what was that name? Red something or other. Oh, red uh, Steel. I know you're talking about, like, was Red that, Blade red, or... Red, red Steel? steel red Steel, was... yeah, that was it. Yeah, in the multiplayer, like, it would give you your objectives with a oh. speaker. But the problem was, it, the, the sound was so bad that it'd just be like... <laughs> and I'd be like, what? <laughs> who am I supposed to kill? What the? <laughs> the, best, oh. the, the best use of that was um, Wario, the Wario game, where, like, you'd have to put the cell phone near your ear and it would speak to you. <laughs> That was great, because it, it was just stupid. It was just, yeah, you'd just be like, answer the phone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> I forgot to practice this game. That's fine. It's it's neat enough that you can keep seeing certain parts of it. Right. Over and over it over. No. I just need to die less. Or, yeah, usually that's how it goes in games. I'm re doing really good at commentary now. So are there uh, more levels after? <laughs> There's the a total of seven levels. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With multiple bosses and points. Mm-hmm. Point systems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guns, customizable ships, you said. You might want to... I might want to see that at one point, how the ship customization works. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. Um, I'm really terrible at it, because I'm not one of them creative type peoples. Mm -hmm. I'm it, like, how do I make creative things? I'll just make, I'll just make a bunch of cube, whatever. Oh, don't worry about it. I played RoboCraft and literally just made a uh, like a, a gun platform with a gigantic dick sticking out of the top. <laughs> I mean, it was great. I did really well with it, but it was literally just a, like a truck with a wiener loaded impact, several <laughs> guns. <laughs> it, was, it was great. Oh, a wiener loaded truck, a WLT. Those are mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like the Oscar Mayer wiener mobile, but up. <laughs> but with actual dicks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No beating around the bush here. Just... Hey now. So to speak. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention in this game that's a neat little touch is that you can't shoot the humans. You you actually air juggle them when you shoot them. Oh, okay. So sometimes it's a bad idea because you'll just knock them into enemies. <laughs> if you're not paying attention. <laughs> which sometimes I will demonstrate on this one I'm about to get. As long as I don't get myself straight up murdered here. Okay. So, doop, 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 doop. Aw. Air, I air, actually air juggled him away f away from enemies. Wow. Now, can you only shoot in the four cardinal directions? No, or... only left and right, actually. Only left and right. Okay, so it it's... It, because it seemed like it's kind of got sort of a Geometry Wars kind of vibe, but with better enemy variety and a couple more, like, objectives you're working on at the same time. Oh, shit. Hurt. Hurt. That was close. That was close. Yikes. That was a time to bomb. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't even notice the bomb wrapping around to the background, too. Yeah. Did you see that Tuesday? I, d I did. That's odd. <laughs> good, it's great. Good man. I loved it. I was, I was on board from bomb wrapping day one. <laughs> So you get uh, bombs for dropping off the peoples? The people is points, bombs, and if you do, I believe you get the last one, it's an extra life. But dropping off the people resets your multiplier? Uh, no, just not killing things fast enough does. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, wow. Okay, that was too Yeah, bad. I'm like, Bob, Bob, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I know I lost my multiplier. I heard it like three times. <laughs> By the way, did you know you lost your multiplier? Did you? I guess I did. 
So the controller makes fun of you for that? Yeah, it does. Now, there'd be some DLC, just like a Snoop Dogg, but making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would actually be behind that for, like, every game. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> that was the one thing that... Was that was that Call of Duty that did that? That was uh, Ghosts, specifically, that was did Ghost. that. Yeah, one thing they did right. DLC voice announcer packs, and then also, I think, Doter did that. Doter 2. They had the guy from Bastion, which is great. <laughs> And Stanley Parable guy, who I also support. Another thing, too, when you see me boosting like that... Oh, shit, where did these guys come from? Uh, the boosting, will you can charge through enemies on that. Mm -hmm. uh, good thing I got that extra life! <laughs> does uh, charging through enemies blow them up, or does yes, it just it dash kills to them. the other side? Okay, it does. Is there a limited boost gauge of some form? That is, I believe, the green gate, the green circle part around you. Okay. Ah. Let me just check here. That's the blue one, sorry. The green one is the overdrive. Which is this. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That's a hell of an overdrive you got there, friend. <laughs> uh, and doesn't it stop... Does the overdrive stop time or just slow it down? Ish, it slows it down a bit. Okay. Which is probably exceptional in a game that... Is this fast-paced? Yep. <laughs> Especially when there's some enemies that uh, break apart, too. Which is kind mm -hmm. of oof, rough there. I think we're getting close to the boss. Should be able to hopefully beat him this time. He's getting a little crazy. Seems it. Oh, dear. Especially the guys behind me. Yeah, I was going to say, that seems like your biggest... Uh, oh, dear. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yikes! All right, you made it through that kind of. Oh gosh, there's more. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get big this game up. Yeah, this does seem kind of like your exact kind of shmup too. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of awesome. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, is it? And then it's boss time now, right? Yep. Is this when the same the, boss? Yeah, it's it's a little. Each difficulty adds a new different thing that the boss does. Like this one fires a little faster on the outside. It takes a lot more damage to do certain things, and I believe it has an extra wave. Gotcha. Which is an interesting thing that you have to like learn more about the boss depending on the difficulty. That's oh, pretty cool. damn! Cool. Was not expecting that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh dear. What? What happened it's there? It's also it's rolling faster, which is something I was not expecting. Ah, it's a good-looking boss. Oh, come on! Ah. That sounded so you beat him, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yay me! Hey. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I don't want to be outside. Cool. Whoa, no, you don't. Oh gosh. Jesus Christ. Oh, you can see the little fire things are a lot faster on this difficulty. The laser kind of deal. Yeah, the inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, you're not playing Velocity. You can't teleport or anything. Yeah, and I also can't tank damage. That was a bad time to switch from the D-pad to the analog stick. Well, you're still alive. I am? I am? Oh, no. No, you're not. <laughs> I really wanted to show what happens when the level ends. Damn it, I'll just have to say it. The entire uh, arena explodes. That's awesome. <laughs> so, we're going to try one more time on baby difficulty. All right. Yeah, it's got a baby difficulty. Let's bring the nemesis. This is basically, no matter what happens, we're going to be finished this level. We are going to finish this level, because it's either going to happen now, or I'm just going to go, Oh no, my internet died! Right. Well, shit. Oh, it's actually playing through the game. Huh. I only thought the Save the Last Humans thing played through the speaker. Hmm. I'm surprised by that. Maybe they fixed that DLC or shit or I don't know. I was know the PS3 let you switch what stuff came through, didn't it? Uh, this on uh, the PS4 it depends on the game. Um, like uh, for instance, thank God Warframe allows that because uh, Warframe was like, I'm gonna play all of the in-game messages through your speaker, and I was like, No, you're not, because <laughs> it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> Uh. Oh. There we go. 
Yeah, it's a lot tamer. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, this is really difficult, you guys. Can't you tell? Damn. I don't know how you're dealing with all these cubes. Cubes. And shots. It's ridiculous. How? You got a dodge? You got some overdrive stuff? Shit. Ow! I, I like how we're making fun of that. I almost ran into an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay. Damn you, Rezo. It's, it's Rezio gun? I usually say Rezio. Wait, hold on. We're going to figure this out right now. Alright. It's Rezo gun. I'm bad. Re You're right. I figured, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I looked it up before. I didn't want to say <sighs> Jesus Christ. How do I words... You know, I think it's I think it's also probably named for resolution, if I had to guess. Probably. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Or as up. homage to the game Res. <laughs> well, that's with a Z, though. Uh, is Rezogun not with a Z? No, it's with an, an S. S. Jesus Christ. Why do I know the most about this game's title? You know I can't read! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I actually didn't know. <laughs> Now you do. Know. Now you've learned something. Oh my god. <laughs> His real name is like Ted Thompson. He just typed on yeah. Ty Tuesday. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, it was close enough. I just. My, I, my I, face I, just fell on the keyboard and things happened. Stop making I, fun of me. I just oh. point at the menu and scream. <laughs> and record videos online. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh, man. You can boost with L1, by the way, if nothing on screen is calling that out to you. <laughs> oh, I can? Yeah. Do those, do those only show up on easy difficulty, those the, indicators? Yeah. Oh, my or God. Or what they'll do is that they pop up the first time it's available. Ah. Uh, or like, uh, oh, boost, by the way, is filled for the first time. Don't forget you have it. I see. Ooh, that was really close, because the, they just spawned on top of that human. <laughs> Wow. Baby difficulty, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For babies. For babies. Whoa. Wow. Um. Jeez. So, let me ask you this. Is the PS4 controller as good as everyone can, like, claims it is? Yeah, it's actually become my, de my de facto PC controller after, after I got it. Does your PC recognize it, like, immediately? You yes, don't just immediately. It pops right and it goes, yo, you got a PS4 controller. And even games like, uh, say, Shuffle Knight, yeah. immediately was like, oh, you're using a PS4 controller. We're going to give you all PS buttons, too. Oh, that's awesome. For the prompts, yeah. They're starting to do that now because they're realizing just that this game, is, this controller, sorry, is very good. Should, should I just buy, like, if I, let's say, hypothetically have, like, a mortgage and stuff, and I really can't just go out and buy a PS4 tomorrow... Can I at least buy the controller? Is that, like, completely stupid, just for my PC? No, I think a lot of people will do that. Whoa. Watch out for that shit behind you, by the way. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I know I did that for a 360 controller when, you know, X input was the only kid on the block. Right. The other, how, uh... How is it for D input to X input emulation? Then not uh, to get too technical. I actually don't know that pretty well with this. Okay. Is because I haven't had a chance to really deal with that. Is the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing too is that um, oh shit, this game, um, <clears throat> this controller is still also Bluetooth. So if you've got Bluetooth, you can play it with wireless as well. Ah. Uh. Now, uh, one thing I noticed is the multiplier doesn't go past five on this. On this difficulty, yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is really. This is almost insulting. I know. I'm sorry, Jesus. Fragger. <laughs> Might be. It's 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 me it's me being a scrub. It's okay. Whatevs. It's no big. Is this how gamers talk? I'm sorry. I don't know. No big. No B one G, six. Eight. Wait, no. I saw a trailer of of uh, some Splinter Cell game. They were not Splinter Cell. It was a Tom Clancy game. At, I think it was E three where they had the fake gamer talk. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, that was the best. Like, this is from a real life game, and it was just so bad. It was like, coming in, Alpha Fragger. No, he's downstairs. Oh man, we gotta go down. He misses the shot. He's like, no worries, man. We got this. <laughs> you need to help me at this capture point right now. Yeah. 
<laughs> no worries, man. You couldn't have seen that flashbang coming. None of us did. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that makes me laugh is no one ever talks like that unless you're paying pay, playing Payday when everybody wants to oh, talk God. like that. <laughs> payday too when you either like get way too into it and start acting like yes, that. Like, like it actually turns into like a bank robin film. Like a, either when like you're a just when you're just screaming like, how much time is left on on like the drill and stuff. Oh yeah, I love doing that. I totally get the payday too. I'm not gonna lie. Ten seconds left. <laughs> They're coming in through the windows. They're coming in through the windows. Hold on, I gotta mix this meth. <laughs> Who's gonna? Who's got the other stuff for the bath? <laughs> I got the battery acid downstairs. There's enough turrets out. You have to make meth. Yeah, yeah there's a meth level. Mission. Yep, drowned rats. I think it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I never did that one. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, one of the bigger, uh, like wave base, not wave base mm -hmm. one, multi level, multi day ones. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the payout's real good, and it, but it's yeah, it gets real, real hard. Yeah, the 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 quick way to do that level is just watch the bath. Mm -hmm. Which they uh, they nerf the amount of stuff you get from that in an earlier patch. Yeah, I can imagine. I played it on the console, so we never got any of those. <laughs> Look how oh, much easier the boss is now. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, he is rolling in slow motion. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. And that's, we're done. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Now you can see this is what I wanted to do the whole time. Wow, the, killing the boss looked really cool. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Okay, switching to full res stream. Let's, let's see this. Oh, yeah, good call. Hold on. <laughs> ah, go, go, go! Yeah, that looks really fucking cool, actually. No, stupid ad! <laughs> That's what I get for being honest. You got ads, blue balls. <laughs> oh well. So I'll describe it to you in great detail. There, the, cube one great. went in went in a direction over here. Cube three went over here. Now you see a little bit of this level that I'm gonna we're gonna stop this. Just you can see that each level does look pretty different. That's pretty cool. It's all raining and stuff. Nice. Yeah, and I've already lost my multiplier. Good job. Okay. <laughs> So that is Rezio Gun. Rezio Gun is available for, I believe, 10 bucks. That's awesome. 10 Aww. bucks with a season pass, which they're saying they're going to add even more shit to nice. the game. And Good. this is the uh, the ships that you can just grab. Cool. Well, I'm down. Oh, somebody made the, the Batwing. Huh. Oh, and there we go. That had to exist. Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Luigi card. Follow your dreams. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool. Holy shit! <laughs> Let me see. Ah. Whoa, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, so I could fly around with a PS4 and go badow badow. I guess. <laughs> I noticed they have um. Something not copyright Sony at the bottom there, but that's cool <laughs> Wow, why is uh, why is this like so much? What the fuck? Wait, wait, there's a date on that? I mean it was August twenty seventh the companion cube was opened? Yeah. Well, like how fucking far behind are you? Not yeah. you, but that guy. But live your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Be a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> no, the next one. Well that's that's yeah, that's great too. Yeah, that's but pretty cool. Who doesn't want to be a roll toilet paper? Uh, I'm sorry, it's not called the Richard Clank. It's called the Aphelion. Okay, the the Fez ship. I would just fly that all the time, just so I could be cheery as hell while I'm blowing everything up. Oh wow, Viper Mark II. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, the Robocop one's pretty cool too. That's actually really neat. It's the Robocop one. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go fast. So you got in here for. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, come on, Minecraft in this game. In this game, like, really? <laughs> We've got it's cubes. Everywhere. Fuck it, make it Minecraft. <laughs> all right, never mind. I would play SpongeBob all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, let's do a little bit more. Uh, no, this 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 is what I'm gonna be from now on. There you go. Yeah. I don't know why his mouth is like that, but yeah, good enough. Mm. And that is Rezio gun. That's really cool. So those are the two shmups currently on the PS4, I believe. Period. They're, I don't know if there's more. I could be wrong. They're maybe both I'm, pretty great. Maybe I'm drunk. Um, the other cool thing is, is this whole what's new thing, which is what keeps people on your friends list appraised what you're doing. Mm -hmm. With uh, Rezio Gun and with um, Velocity Ultra, uh, I don't know why it kicked me completely out. Let's do that again. It's It continues to kick me out. Good job, Sony. Thanks. This is This is good. Hold on, wait. That is quite a good job, Sony. <sighs> okay. It actually keeps pe tells people what your high scores are on levels now. So it's like, oh, my new high score in this level is this, which cool. is kind of neat. That is neat. Yes. So that is Velocity 2X. came out today. Uh, once again, you can get it for free on PlayStation Plus. I know it was a joke for a while, but since we're ending, might as well mention it again. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, I will probably be tossing that into your thread once I'm done with uh, Ultra. Cool. Well, thank you very much. It is no problem. The game is awesome. It is. It really is. Mm-hmm. And it also has some really fun design stuff in there, and I can't wait to get better at the game so I can do the critical urgency, because they look fucking insane. I, I actually tweeted uh, to you, Slobby, that trailer, the critical urgency trailer, which just looks insane. <laughs> <laughs> I awesome. I can't I'll, believe that. I'll have to check it out. You should. It looks awesome. I will. So, everybody, hope you had a great time tonight watching some Velocity and a little bit of me being bad at Rezio Gun. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what I'm streaming next. Maybe some infamous first light in the future. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for having us. It yep. has been no problem. I thought you guys would enjoy seeing some shmups. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. There you go. Awesome. So, everyone had a good time. You guys have stuff to plug if you wish. Um, actually, the two of us, well, Ty, uh, guested on a Retsu Prey video, which will be up tomorrow, and, um, what's the day after tomorrow? Thursday. So, get ready for something that's kind of like a Retsu Flash, or should be. <laughs> should, should, should be. Should be, but should some, fucking be. somehow made it to Steam. So, Jesus. that's kind of new, but, you know. <laughs> um, br I'm breaking that up into two parts, and then, um... And I'm never reading YouTube comments again because I don't want to hear about how much everyone hates me not being someone else. Yeah, no, they're gonna hate. They're gonna hate you. I already know. Um, I'm excited. So, um, yeah. But so you have an accent, so you're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, that is true. Real thick Southern twang. <laughs> they'll, they'll find something. Exactly. Also, uh, Crimson Clover, please, you know, go play it. It's fun. Yeah, I've, I've seen you play that a few times. It's been fun. You're you're welcome, Blackbird. But anyway, God. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to thank you for hosting the stream as well on your channel. Of course. Oh, and, yeah, of course. No problem. And uh, if you so desire to see the shit that I throw up on the YouTubes, it is the same name as this stream. I'm currently I'm about to start Infamous 2, and I am going to probably put up video 2 of Velocity Ultra when I'm done censoring boobs. Thank you for that, by the way. Oh my god, I think I think I think it's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's Fucking okay, gosh, yeah. but uh, it's like the moment that I started realizing there, like it's the whole it's not locked horizontally. Mm -hmm. Completely uh, fucks with things. Oh jeez. So yeah, wait wait till you see. Uh, for instance, the boob maze made me kind of want to kill myself. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, yeah the boob maze has got to be... Well, that's the worst of it, I think, right? Uh, kind of. Okay. <laughs> the boss after that, the big beetle one, because oh, it yeah. shakes. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. I'm the, I'm the idiot who said, I'll censor it. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> so hopefully that'll be out soon, that I can just let that be behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I am probably going to stream it next week, some Destiny, because that hits. Forgot about that. Um, cool. I'm gonna Once I get back into the swing of RP things, I'll probably be streaming again, so yeah, look forward to that. Mm, okay. Ty, you got anything? Yeah, I'll probably be continuing the Ass Cred 4 streams, just because that game breaks in all the best ways. I don't know how I do it, but every time that game can possibly break, I make it happen. And it's 
fantastic. Boats aren't supposed to launch into the air from underwater, but I'll be damned if I haven't done it three times. <laughs> I actually didn't mind four. I think the best part of that was taking down those fortresses. Oh, no, yeah, the boat sections are so much better than the main game. Uh, oh, boy, <laughs> stealth mechanics, a.k.a. hide in a bush, shoot a dart, run around, cut a bell. Oh, boy, as opposed to Storm Fortress, where I had, like, 16 <laughs> water spouts because they just kept spawning. That, so that was ridiculous. <laughs> so, like, I came back and I left and would, like, lose comeback. It wasn't supposed to respawn, from what I understand, but or it was just supposed to stay at, like, one or two. I ended up having, like, seven of the damn things just follow, and they just started following me. It was, oh, it was ridiculous. <laughs> the game broke so goddamn hard. Oh, that sounds fucking magical. Oh, God. That oh, game. Oh, man. <laughs> Whew. So I hope everyone out there had a great time watching this tonight and maybe convinced you to buy this free game. <laughs> <laughs> they convinced me eyebrow raise so everyone have a good night see you whenever i feel like doing this again easy mm -hmm. where's that button